So is yours. <laughs> Recording. Right. So let's make a formal introduction for our listening. Uh, good evening for me. Good morning uh, for my friend Kenzo in Tokyo. My name is Claudio. I'm calling you from Washington D.C. Uh, from the students in Fairfax City, we're very humble and grateful that Kenzo accepted our invitation to our show. Uh, welcome to the show, guys. Thank you. Uh, I'm your sister Simis, uh, the leader of Kenzo. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Same, same here. So um, this has been a weird, very complicated year for everybody with the COVID and and uh, people believe in the vaccine, some people don't believe in the vaccine, you know, the Olympic game were canceled, uh, and now they, they just finished, and then uh, how th and, and bands cannot tour, you know, and everything is closed. How, how is this, uh, the COVID have affected, uh, you know, your, your regular life, your inability to do shows and play live, that kind of stuff? えっと、まず初めの質問ですけども、今年はいろんな事件があって、え、口からこう飛沫が飛ぶからって言われて、え、まあ、なんだろう、日本だと風評被害と言いますけど、あの、患者さんが歯科医に来なくなったりですね。それからいろんなその感染予防のこういうこうグッズをたくさん買えなくち
uh, the masterpiece and then cut a CD from there, I assume, right? Since you guys cannot see one another, need to share files and have input into the music. Right. ということは、えー、とバンドで、えーまあ、曲を作ろうと思ったらば、リモートでファイルをシェアして、まあオ、オーバーダブしていくような形になるわけでしょうかあえっ、えー、と、それはまだあのそこまでいってないというか、まあ、曲はほとんど僕とあのもう一人のキーボーディストの野口健一が作ってますので、えー、と僕が全部そのロジックプロにいろいろ曲を打ち込んで、それでまあ彼に意見を聞いたり、あるいはもう一人のキーボーディストの、まあ作曲ですけども、三田くんにも意見を聞いて、あの、ほそれぞれ的確なことを僕に言って、本当に厳しくも温かいアドバイスをもらえるので、それでどんどんあの、ウォッシュアップっていうか、していった感じですね。それで、ですから、本当にこの、まあ、後でお話しするけど、来週、あ、今週か。今週はちょっとライブ、別なライブがあるので、それが終わったらば、メンバーにその今できている、完成している曲を聴かせて、まあど、具体的にどういうふうにレコーディングをしていくかとか、まあ、エンジニアをどうするかとかを決めていこうという、それは8月後半の予定です。ですから、秋にはレコーディングに入ろうとは思っています。はい、ありがとうございます。Well,、um, we are not quite there yet、uh, to exchange files and add on each other.、Um, but most of the stuff that I'm writing alone and、uh, creating music on Logic X that I spoke of. And、um, uh, the, the keyboardists, Kenichi Oguchi and Kenichi Mitsuda, are both very、uh, constructive and critical of my compositions, which I、um, get to、um, improve. By their advices.、Um, as you know, we are going to have, I mean,、uh, Shimizu san is going to have a jam session, progressive jam session with other musicians outside of Kenso、uh, coming Saturday, Japan time, that's、uh, August 14th. Yeah.、Um, so after that,、uh, probably toward the end of the month,、uh, I will distribute my recordings to other members of Kenso. And、um, possibly start recording、uh, starting this fall. Well, that's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. We want to we wanna see more and more, more music there.、Uh, it, what, was he born like, in, a, in, a, in a musical、uh, family when he began playing、uh, either you know, guitar or keyboard or you know, piano lessons? Were, was music important in, in his family when he was growing up? えっと、清水さんは音楽家の一家に生まれたんでしょうか、まあ、ピアノやギターのレッスンを始めたっていうのは昔からそういうふうにしてたんでしょうか、まあ、家庭の中では音楽が重要なファクターだったんでしょうか私が音楽家の家に生まれたように見えますか<笑> do, I, ?Do I look like I was born in a musical family?Maybe, I don't know.Medical, <笑> medical family, maybe. <笑>まあ、お医者さんの家に生まれたように見えますね<笑>。それも違うんですね。<笑>私の父はあの商売で、あのこれ、なんていうんですか、零細,零細企業ってことはあるんですよね、英語にも。まあ、そうですね、スモールビジネスですよね。あ父ちゃん、母ちゃん、商売ですけども、小さい自動車の修理工場をやってまして、で,ですから、音楽家の家ではないです。で、父はあの、これ、わかるのかな、えっと、軍艦以外は音楽ではないという。ことだったので、えー<笑>うん、その僕が中学校になってあのビートルズとかローリング・ストーンズとかクリームとか、まあ、聞き出した時にもいつかは吉久さんも軍歌を聴くようになるという断,断言していましたね。そんな過程です。なので、私は生まれたことは、ドクターズ・ファミリー。私は、ファーザーは、ファーザーは、ファーザーは、ファーザーは、ファーザーは、ファーザーは、ファーザーは、For、um, as auto garage, <laughs> and、um, he did not recognize any music other than military marching、uh, <laughs> as, <laughs> wor <laughs> as worth listening. And、uh, when Shimizu san grew up and、um, discovered about Beatles, Rolling Stones, and Cream,、um, his father got upset and、um, he declared that、uh, one day. Uh, he will understand the beauty of the military march. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and, and, the, and the rest is history, right? He didn't, he didn't、uh, understand the beauty of the military and then he went to rock and roll. 
<笑>まあそういう文化とかにはあまり興味がなくて、まあロックンロールに目覚めたんですね。そうですね。<笑>ピアノで、まあ、父はあの音楽は嫌いでしたが、祖父、私の祖父は非常に読書家で、あの、まあ当時でいう上層教育というか、まああの、そういうものが必要だというふうな、ちょっと教育者的な考え方だったので、で、あの男の、これはアメリカの方には続けるかわからないけど、当時ピアノを習うっていうのは女の子の習い事だった。僕の、僕の年齢では。田舎、特に田舎ではですね、田舎では。で、ですから、周りで僕がピアノを習ってるといじめられたりもしたんですけども、あの、まあ、祖父は、今から男の子も音楽を習った方がいいということで、うん、10歳ぐらいの時から3年ピアノを習いました。で、その後、それでちょっとあの並行して、あの、音楽の先生が、小学校の音楽の先生が、あの、フルートを、君はフルートに向いてるから、フルートをやった方がいいと言って、フルートを2年間教わって、それが僕の音楽を、の正式音楽のキャリアですね。Well, although、um, <clears throat> my father didn't like music at all, but my grandfather was a bit of a reader and educator himself.、Um, and、uh, he thought that even for boys, it would be good to play piano.、Um, by the way, in the no metropolitan area in our times back then, piano was for the girls. It was、really? a girly thing, yes.、Um, <laughs> and、um, because of that, because he、um, took piano lessons from,、um, from the age of 10,、um, he was subjected to、um, school bullies because of the piano play. However,、um, because of、um, uh, a teacher at a grade school, he was introduced to the flute, which the teacher thought that、um, he was,、um, suit- was a suitable instrument for him. And that was the、um, beginning of the formal education in music. Yeah, I got you. Wow, wow. wow. I'm glad that、uh, it started that, that at that age.、Um, what kind of music,、uh, you know, we're talking about 30, 40 years ago. What kind of music、um, was he listening at the time? Was、uh, in the Western world, right, 40 years ago, with Genesis was important, Peter Gabriel, Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd. And all the, all the progressive rock band, right? So, was he listening to any of the music at the time when he was in the equivalent of high school here? It's about 30 and 40 years ago, I'm going to ask you about what I'm going to ask you about. I'm going to ask you about what I'm going to ask you about. I'm going to ask you about what I'm going to ask you about. I'm going to ask you about what I'm going to ask you about. I'm going to ask you about what I'm going to ask you about. I'm going to ask you about what I'm going to ask you about. I'm going to ask you about what I'm going to ask you about. I'm going to ask you about what I'm going to ask you about. ちょっとそうですね。あの、ですから、えっ、ー、と、中学、中学、まあ、ですから13歳ぐらいまでですかね。中学、はい、1年生の頃は僕はブラスバンドに、マーチングバンドに入って、あの、フルートを吹いてたんですが、えー、ある日、テレビからですね、えー、ザ・ビートルズの、あの、ハード・デズ・ナイトの映画,映画がテレビから流れてきて、その、えっ、ー、と、キャント・バイ・ミー・ラブという曲でもう、ガーンってこう、なってしまったという、そこから僕はロックにどんどん、これがビートルズというのかっていうところから、あの、ローリングストーンズ、クリーム、レッド・ゼッペリン、ディープ・アップルっていう、もうどんどんその方向へ進んでいったですね。その、一回ここで聞いていいですかはい、ありがとうございます。はい。Well, absolutely, I was listening to that sort of music at my young age.、Um, in, during my middle school days, at the age of 13,、um, I was watching TV and the Uh, Hard Day's Night by Beatles was on、wow. um, the, the movie. And、uh, I was so f- knocked down floored at hearing、uh, Can't Buy Me Love. And、um, didn't,、um, my, my whole life changed since then. And then I got into from Beatles to Led Zeppelin to Deep Purple to Pink Floyd and all everything else. Wow. That's, that's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah, that's amazing. And <laughs>、um, when, before, after finish the equivalent of high school here, and then was on one hand, right? He wanted to go to whatever medical or dental school. On one hand, he liked music. Was difficult to make the decision of going 
to university or college or follow the path to go a musician or try in the middle, try to do both was like pressure in the family of, well, forget about music, go to dental school, go to medical school, school is the only way to make it. It was, it was, it was a difficult decision because uh, his, his, his dad wasn't supporting his career as a musician. It was a difficult decision for him to make. え、と、高校出てからま、医師の道に進むのか、え、ま、音楽を続けるのか、その どちらか、えっと、医師の道に行くのか、音楽の道に行くのか、どちらにしようか迷ったというようなことはあったんでしょうか。うん。そうですね。えっと、ま、検査という番号を組んだのは、えっと、ハイスクール17歳の時だったん
I will get him an autograph CD for Pande City, for Pande City Group, and a, and a signed picture for Pande City as well. I will send it to, I will send it to to, to Tokyo next in a couple of weeks. Wow, as a gift. Ano, because, uh, <laughs> えっと忘れないうちに言っておきたいんですけれども、今回のお礼としてえっとまあポールガーティコを通じてえパッドメシニグループのみんなのサインが入った写真を<笑>送りますので<笑>楽しみにしてください。いや、ポールガーティコ is a good friend. He is a very good drummer. あ、いやいや、大好きです。あ、no problem, no problem. Yeah, love him too. Yeah, of course. <laughs> and uh, it's it's Kenzo who been doing like, uh, se- you know, using um, label releases, going to uh, a label, or uh, or they do like a a self release album. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kenzo is label に所属しているんでしょうか？それとも自費で出版されているんですか？えっと、最初の2枚、ファースト、今ここに、前,前はね、あの、LP、あの、アナログ、今、ビニールって言うんですかビニールレコードで、うん、トレッド、やっから、えー、っと、どうだっけ。あ、セカンド、セカンドがないっていう。あ、たたたたた。これ、これ、yeah. これ、これ上田さんがライン英語のライナーを書いてるんですよね。これはインディーズで、あの自主、なんていうの、自主制作ですね。自分自費でやるからね。はい、はいうん。そこから後の、えっ、ー、と、夢の丘の前はなんだっけ。えっ、ー、と。なんか最近自分のアルバムのことも忘れちゃうんだよね。あの、セレフタイトルのやつ。<笑>ああ、そうだ。<笑>これか。<笑>これですね。<笑>これが、はい、<笑>ここからキングレコード。<笑>ここからキングで、次がスパルタっていう感じですかね、夢の丘。これは、ね、キングレコードですね。そして、はいはい、であとその、とてもキングレコードから出してくれそうもない、こういう DVD。All right, live in the u s Wow. それから、これを、<笑>こ,うこれ、DVD。いや、これ。から、まあ、これは。Oh, man, that's a beautiful. I don't have any other stuff. Yeah, I need. Wow, when, when is that? Which, when, which one is that? これ,それは何ですか<笑>あ,あ、これはですね、えっと、何でだっけ、1994年のじゃない。あ、すいません。2004年から2014年までのすべてのライブを収めた。DVD yes, well, this, this is a collection of DVD of all the live performances from 2004 through 2014. Wow. It's a limited edition. What is it? Gente Ban? Gente Ban. 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 <laughs> okay, well, in return for your, in return for your favor of sending the Paul Vertigo and, and Patnissini group photo with autograph, I will send this package to you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I need to get it. So I can play. So the reason that I want to, Kenzo, Kenzo is known in the United States, but not that much. And my reason is I want to promote and play. The way I do it is, I send you a, a link of the interview. You can use it for your social media and so on and so forth. Then I do, I upload the link of the interview to the radio and they and do a special about cancel music. So a lot of people can listen. So my goal in life is to promote great music. I, all my four radios are free and they are always going to be free. I buy all the music. I have no social media, no advertising. It's 95% is music and the other 5% interviews. And, and I'm broadcasting at very good quality. The quality I'm broadcasting is very good. And, uh, and I don't charge anything and it's 24 hours a day. That's what, whether you are in Tokyo, where you are in Paris, you, where you are in Latin America, where you are in Brazil or Chile or Argentina, you can listen to great music from people all over the world. That's what, I have about 6,000 listeners, and my radio is always going to be free. So I always want to promote good music. 
Oh, that's fantastic. えっと、えー、質問、質問に答える間もなく、えー、次に行っちゃってるんですけども、<笑><笑>あの、まあ、私のラジオ、まあ、これは、えー、95% が音楽で 5% がインタビューになってるんですけれども、うんえーまあ、とにかく、とにかく音楽を広めたいっていうのは私の、えー、ゴールで、で、えっ、ー、とい、いずれあの、リンクをお送りしますけれども、えっ、ー、と、ラジオの中でこのインタビューを流して、そして、喧騒の音楽のスペシャル番組もやりたいと考えています。Well, thank you very much for in- showing into your star music. And、um, uh, to answer your previous question,、yeah. um, the label of self,、uh, self-financed, the first album and the second album, those were issued in LP vinyl format. Because they were issued in the 1980s.、Um, and they were self financed. And、uh, for the reissue of the second album, Ken So To,、um, me, myself,、um, th- this guy、uh, contributed、uh, English liner, liner notes. Wow. <laughs> so, yeah,、um, that, that's my relationship with the man.、Uh, and third album on, King Record. It's one of the larger record labels.、Um, they are raking in. For the girls band, excuse me, girls band called、um, AKB 48.、Uh, was it 48, <laughs> 47, 46, whatever.、Uh, but AKB 46 years ago, 8 years ago. Okay, 48 it is.、Uh, and they, they have other、um, uh, offsprings as well、uh, all over Japan. And they, they also have some in a c e r t a i n country like a,、uh, Jakarta 40 something. and Uh, stuff like that. Anyways, um, uh, they have been, um, gracious enough to issue our release our LPs, um, King, uh, King Record, uh, starting from the self titled third album. Uh, we call it Kenso 3 and Sparta, Yume no Oka,、yeah. and so, and so on. But, um, uh, things like DVD Live in USA and Kenso's Guide To progressive rock、Ooh. and、uh, Ego no Tabibito, the multi disc package that I was showing to you, yeah, were not from the label.、Oh, um, I got you, but I got you. They, they had to be self financed, self financed,、yeah. um, right? And it's how, how is、uh, how is Genso because I know that in, in Japan, you know, electronic music, progressive rock is very important. It's, it's Kenso is, is very popular in Japan as well. Another band, great band, is called Meta f i that I really like as well. And it's, it's, it's when Kenso does, you know, forget the COVID, but when Kenso goes in tour in, in,、uh, in Japan, they sell a lot, of, a lot of tickets. It's very popular. They sell a lot of records. That it's popular in Japan as well, Kenso as a band. Uh, which was the band you said, something five?、Uh, Metafy, also. I don't know if you know them. It's very, very good too. I, I will send Meta- you a link. Okay, Metafy. Yeah, Metafy.、Okay. Right. Um, Metafy would be a band of Anna, so excuse me. I'm going to keep it. 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 <笑>コロナは別にしてツアーに出るときにたくさんチケットが売れたりたくさん商品が売れたりするんでしょうかいやいや、全然しないですね。No, not, not at all. <笑>ああ私、ほとんど曲をか、試験層のアルバムの曲の多分 80% は僕が書いてると思うあの、作曲してると思うんですけど、それで、この、こう、これか。コンプリートボックスが出たときに、あの、ロイヤリティが振り込まれてくるじゃないですか。これで初めてまとまったお金が入ってきました。わ<笑>かるかな<笑>それまでは本当にこんなこれだったから。これやっぱりこれだけ曲が入ってたし、僕がほとんど曲を書いてるんで、作曲家のロ,ロイヤリティがあの入ってきて、あの、妻にあのバッグを買ってあげました。<笑><笑> <laughs> well,、um, <clears throat> to tell the truth, 80% of music that I,、um, uh, that Kenzo plays is written by me. And、um, until this box set called Kenzo Complete Box Set、yeah. came out, 
Um, I was uh, only paid a meager amount for a royalty. Really? Uh, yes. Um, and, and because 80% of music is written by me when this box set came out, uh, I, I was for the first time paid a um, good amount. And with that, I bought a handbag for my wife. Really? That's all? <laughs> so, that's all. Yeah, that's all. Wow. Yeah, yeah. But how many people went with Genso Ghost on tour in Japan in, uh, in different cities in Tokyo when they do a, a tour in Japan? How many people go to see them and they sell after the show? Let's say they play in Tokyo, you know, they play in uh, Okinawa, whatever city. Uh, they, they sell a lot of records, CDs or vinyl after, after the show? え、と、キャンソルツアーに出た時にえっと、ツアーをやってると思ってるらしいんですけど。え、ツアーに出た時にえ、ま、たくさんお客さん何人ぐらい来るんでしょうか。それからえっと、そのその後いろんな商品が売
えっと、西部門は僕の曲ではなく、キーボーディストの小口健一の曲です。で、ですから彼に昨日、あの、ちょっとコメントをもらってきました。えっと、何かスパルタのレコーディングが終わった時に、スパルタの中の月謝選考って曲は自分にはできない曲だと。だから、小口の曲には僕にはできない曲を期待したいと僕が言ったらしいんですね。で、それに、がずっと心に残っていて、小口健一は、西部門は自分の中でのいわゆるプ,ラグプログレッシブロック的な概念を取り払って、よりストレートでパワフルな曲を作ってみたと。で、えー、フレーズやメロディー一つ,一つは極力シンプルになるように心がけて、そのシンプルなパーツの組み合わせで、えー、面白さを表現するアプ,アプローチを取りましたということでした。あ,ありがとうございます。あ、そういえば、清水さん、今、ギター用意されてるんですよね。あ、ギター用意してます。<笑>じゃあ、ちょ、ちょっと後で触れてみましょう。あ、で、大丈夫空に光るは、空に光るは、あの、僕が、その、鹿台の時に、もう、う、うつうつとしてた時に、一人でピアノで作って、一人でドラムも叩いて、全部、あの、あのベースもギターも弾いて、あの、完成させた曲です。え、でも、この曲ができた時に、あの、鹿台を卒業したらバンド活動がこれでできるって思った確信が得られた曲で、今でもこれは、あの、自分で気に入ってる曲の一つですね。空に光る。それから後半にて、後半にて行っちゃいますはい、行っちゃいましょう。はい。はい、えー、後半にてはですね、えっ、ー、と、変速チューニングを使っておりまして、イレギュラーなチューニングを使っておりまして、まあ、ダドガドって言われてるものの、じゃここにカポタストをしています。そして、oh, yeah. こういうフレーズをまず作りまして、そこで中間部はまた違う。今度はジョニー・ミッチェル。まあ今のチューニングは僕は、あの、レッド・ゼッペン、ジミー・ペイジがよく使ってたチューニングだったんですけど、中間部からは、あの、ジョニー・ミッチェルが使ってる変速チューニングをちょっと自分でモディファイして、で、その、このコードからさ、もう譜面は作らずに、もうどんどんイメージが僕のままに録音してった感じですね。で、僕の頭の中には、あの、北海道という場所があるんですが、北海道の小さな沼にちょっとこうあ旅行に行って沼にこう佇たずん座ってた時にいろんな自然の音がこう聞こえてきてなんかとてもこう神秘的な雰囲気になったんでその時のことをあのギターで表現したのが後半にてですね以上です、はい、ありがとうございます OK、um, let's, let's pick up from Um, on the Fist of Fury.、Yep. Uh, it's a song written by the keyboardist Kenichi Oguchi.、Um, he rem-、uh, actually, he, he wrote him to ask him about how he came up with the idea of this song.、Um, <clears throat> so he、um, remembers Shimizu san telling him that um, um, he can, well, he, he was able to write. The song Miskatonic, which is,、uh, I believe it's on、uh, Sparta. Yeah. yeah. Misca- Miskatonic. That's right. On、yeah. Sparta, right?、Um, that's something I can write. And、um, uh, the other song on Sparta, Gesha Senko, was something that was out of my imagination.、Yeah. And、um, uh, I would like Okinichi Oguchi, you. To write something that、um, I wouldn't be able to write. So he, that's how he remembers it.、Yeah. And the f i s t of Fury <coughs> came out as something that Kenny c h i o g u c h i wanted to do something outside the box of what is called Prague and wanted the song to be powerful and straightforward. And、uh, what he、um, elaborated was.、Um, Um, the, to, to keep the phrases and melody as simple as possible, and then、uh, construct the simple parts to make the whole structure. And the title of the song is, of course, Fist of Fury, which was taken from Bruce Lee movie,、uh, who he admires as the, the icon of power.
Perfect. So that's um, that's Fist of Fury. Um, Sora ni Hikaru was a song that Shimizu san uh, wrote during his last year of um, dental college. Uh, all on his own. He played the piano, drums, bass, guitar, everything, and recorded himself. And that is the song that um, gave him confidence.